I want to talk about Haiti's children, or rather my impression of Haiti's children. And, um, you know, every time I, I watch something on, on the news about these kids and their struggles, I'm just, I just marvel at, I mean, these are the most beautiful children I think I've ever seen, or some of the most beautiful children I've ever seen. They are alert, their eyes sparkle, their their smiles are open and wide, their skin is, is smooth, they, they there's just a beauty about them, their their step is quick, their their eyes are bright and, and alert and and present and aware. And I think, you know, there some very dis what seems at first disjointed thoughts concerning these children but they're, they're struggling they're struggling and they're not getting enough to eat in many cases but what they do eat traditionally and even in its small quantities is healthy food they eat beans, they eat rice, they eat things like, you know, starchy things that grow in the Caribbean, like plantains and um, yams, um, boiled green bananas, very healthy, life-filled food. And, you know, th these aid groups, they, they go there and, and it, it is, it, it sort of, they become a conduit a dumping ground for for food that is not healthy so it becomes a dumping ground for pop tarts and thing and things like that for for food that is is not life sustaining and i'm thinking how can you feed a child who is not getting enough volume of food to eat. Pop fucking tarts. I mean, it becomes, a, 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 you know, these, these countries, these developing countries, these um, third world countries become dumping grounds for garbage food, the America's d junk food dumping ground. And, you know, I, I saw this story on CNN about, you know, this this orphanage where this woman is standing at a stove stirring a single, fairly small pot of beans. And she's cooking the beans. And, and beans are incredibly nutritious. I mean, they're the powerhouses of nutrition. And she's stirring this pot of beans and there are like numerous children in this in this you know there is not enough beans to go around to, to fill all these little bellies but that's all they have available and they have to ration the food so that the children can get something to eat each day and there's a fucking warehouse three miles away full of bags and bags of kidney beans of rice of um peanut butter of, of you know and peanut butter is controversial too but at least it's it's protein and they somehow they can't get the food to this and it was only through sanjay gupta's story and f putting a light on it said him making a call to someone that a truck delivered food for these children and it just infuriated me it is so frustrating and you wonder what these you know these ngos are what the fuck are they doing in haiti is this just a business or does, does the organization become self-serving in the sense that it's its reason for being is to continue to be rather than to provide help and support and food for people who need it. Are you angry? Are you angry about this? I mean, if you gave money, if you donated anything to these groups, aren't you pissed off?
Don't you want to make a call and demand that your money, demand that your the help that you have given be distributed to people who need it? It is as if they just collect all your money and I mean they really go gung-ho with you know these drives these donation drives they're on the news they want you to get, send your money they go really gung-ho and then they just ship all this stuff into the country and warehouse it dump it there and set up shop like this shadow government in this country and of course the Haitian government they may want to help but they have no tax revenue in order to do what they need to do. I mean, how they, they're not collecting taxes from people. Um, how are they supposed to function? And so these groups set up, they, they collect, they pull the money in and hold on to it. It's like a, like a giant constipation of aid. I think the constipation happens because of the mindset, this generalized mindset that people are scamming the system, that this is not fair and we need to, we need to cross every T and dot every I because we don't want someone who doesn't deserve. So this idea of deserving versus non-deserving and we need to secure this food we need to lock it away and warehouse it because these people are just not these are criminal people they're they're not they're subhuman in a sense because and if we we give them we we need to monitor them we need to we need to be careful about how we hand out this food and so in the end result of this mindset is that nothing gets distributed Nothing gets to the people who need it. They're feeding these children, these beautiful, bright-eyed, glowing-skinned children, fucking Pop-Tarts. And these fucking religious organizations who go there, who say they're, they're, they're going there for aid. They're feeding these beautiful children Pop-Tarts to make them dull mind dull sensed these children do not eat pop fucking tarts okay these children they eat rice they eat beans they eat fish they eat sometimes meat in small quantities they eat healthy foods they just do not have enough of it in terms of volume available to them and it is not available consistently we don't need to be given these children pop tarts. We don't need to, to export pathology from North America to the developing world. They don't need to be eating Kellogg's cereal, okay? They need grains, they need cornmeal, they need rice, they need uh, oats, they need beans, they need oils. That's what these children need. Okay. When you look at these children, as poor as they are, their mothers bathe them. Their, you, these children, their hair is neatly combed. They've got ribbons. The girls have ribbons in their hair. Their clothes is clean. Their, their clothes are clean. They, they, their mothers take their clothes and put it in a little basin of water on the ground and bend over it and wash them, wash the clothes by hand and hang it up on a, on a line, a makeshift line to dry in the sun and the heat. They're clean. Their smiles are bright. <laughs> These are beautiful, beautiful children they don't need to be eating fucking pop tarts okay haiti is not a dumping ground for north america's pathology 